what can be redeemed in all that she's done to the sisters? Mm. Good question. She be redeemed. Yeah. I feel like mm. there's a deep vulnerability to Rachel that we've seen kind of over the seasons. And as much as she sort of goes about things in a very misguided way, in a very kind of like cruel way, she does. Her intention is, like all of the clones, to just have some control over her life and some autonomy and some kind of volition in it. Uh, so maybe, I mean, if we experience something of a... If she gives up some power or if there's some something sort of like that. Truce of some sort. Yeah. Like, yeah. She kind of gets what she wants somehow. I think if she reconciles too that she's a clone. Yeah. <laughs> she's yeah. like the rest of them. Yeah. That she's not different. Yeah. All right, so you two just now made me come up with a question about do you do this talking about character choices and stuff? together yeah. a lot? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think... Discuss? Well, Tatiana's been incredibly open to that throughout the process of, of every season of the show, and I think that's something incredibly unique, and that's something that I I didn't expect from the actor that I was going to be working with before I knew Tat, and that I, I could see that it would be understandable for an actor to not be open to the opinions of, of someone else who needs to play their characters. Mm -hmm. um, so it's incredibly unique, but, but Tat that's been so generous and open and open to discussion and, and it's never right or wrong and, and things can be thrown out or things can be valuable and, and used but it's just kind of discussion just helps the art grow a little bit more. Totally. Just having a, collabor a collaborator in character creation is kind of unique and, and getting, you know, and Catherine comes to set having watched all the dailies and having seen the arc of the characters in a way that I don't see because I'm kind of there in it and she has questions about the scenes or she has questions about the characters or thoughts or um, ideas that are stimulating to me and, and make me see things differently and, and we improvise within takes to you know and those that improv becomes part of the scene then you know when I when we flip the characters to the other side so it's a real collaboration yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> how was it this past season as far as like working through the desperation of like running out of hope as far as finding the characters like that it's it's you know it's tough because you've fallen in love with these characters and they seem fragile at this point you know Kasima's health seems really I think when we left her at the end of episode 10 it was kind of like she could be she could be gone um, so it's it's interesting to play in those places and, and sort of you know I don't want the characters to die but if the story does you know then they then they could and so it's it's a kind of painful but you know but it is fun to work through those things yeah um, so uh, Allison was kind of separated from like the rest of the sisters this season, and she was doing she was trying to do a normal life. So we're going to see more of her working with the other sisters in season five. Yeah, I think so. She's kind of in the woods with Helena, so they have like an un <laughs> unexpected like again they're forced into like confinement with each other. But now it's Helena's rules. Helena's home. It's different. I I would love to see those two do a little bit more together. Because yeah. it's such an unlikely pairing. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be great. Hopefully. But Allison was saying, didn't she say, in, like, toward the end of the season when they were in the tent, how much she appreciated mm -hmm. her? I mean, was she just was she being sarcastic or was she being serious about? Oh, I think she was totally serious. I think she went through a huge crisis of faith last season, where God had abandoned her, and then suddenly, in her moment, just before you know, death or whatever was going to happen with that bot an arrow through the throat and it's Helena, you know, at the door. So I think she definitely saw that as an angel from from Jesus. Yeah. From God. <laughs> we have time for one more here. How do y'all typically feed off each other when y'all are working together in scenes? Um, mm. Tatiana is incredibly easy to feed off of because <laughs> your energy is just, she just gives it her all every single take. She's there. And it doesn't matter if you're in like minus 30 degree weather weather, or if it's hour 22. Mm. Like she's just, she's a pro. She's always there. So, so my job is to just try to match that and to give her as much as I can give her to, to make her be the best that she can be because ultimately she's the only one that's seen so it's, it's, but it's a yeah. super cool you just like I've never worked 
with an actor of, of just your skill and energy. Denial. And denial. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't know. Sugar rush? <laughs> yeah. But you pull it off, whatever you do. So, yeah, it's great. So will your next role be supporting role where you don't have to do a whole lot of stuff or are you just going to try to take it easy for once? I don't know. It depends whatever's, whatever comes up. I'd love to play like a small bit thing in a movie or something. A really, you know, strong character of some kind. That's that's kind of what I, I like to do. But whatever happens, I'm, I'm up for it. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you guys so much.